Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to yet another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got another of the new gaming greats figures, it is the re-release of Django Fett. He's had a few tweaks, he's got a new jetpack, he has got photo real paint apps on the uh, old Tamura Morrison head. But uh, of course this is a nod to the classic PS2 game, Bounty Hunter. Um, I actually played through this again. Uh, not too long ago, and I uh, forgot how good that game was, and how something like that could stand up today with a little bit of a, a little bit of a tweak. You know, it looks a little bit dated these days, but uh, it was still such a great game to play back back in the early um, days of the PlayStation 2. Um, sort of around that, yeah, it would have been 2002, 03 era, um, and yeah, you can get it on the PlayStation Network. So if you want to have a play again, jump in because it was a, uh, it was pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to opening this guy up and uh, just seeing what he looks like. So let's uh, take a closer look. All right, so here he is out of the packaging and uh, I'll be completely honest. Um, I, aside from the change in jetpack um, and the head sculpt, uh, it's, it's kind of a bit of a downgrade. Um, and I will show you the original um, as I go through this review. Um, because there's just something about this figure. I thought it with the original and I think it with this one now. Um, there are some tweaks they've made to this one. He has a lot cleaner armor. There's next to no weathering on the thing. Whereas the first release uh, had some pretty good looking armor. Like his his armor looked, you know, a little bit scuffed, a little bit dirty. Uh, so I guess it's a nice clean Django, I guess, if you want. Um, I still think the head is too big. And the helmet, it just looks completely oversized on top of on top of the head. Um, helmet removed, looks fine. Um, absolutely on board uh, with what he looks like without the helmet. Um, but uh, as you can see, the helmet it looks a little oversized. It's a little bit it's a little bit flappy. Um, it's just a little bit too big. Um, I don't know, I suppose you could mod it a little bit with a bit of boiling hot water, that's something I tend to do a lot. Um, if you're just going to get a closer look at his head sculpt here, the new paint apps. So that's not looking too bad. Um, it's definitely reasonable. And, uh, just so you got something to compare it to. There is the original there. Now this is where I'll jump in with the comparison. Obviously, we now have two different jetpacks for Django. I personally like the new jetpack better. Um, they're both great, but I, I, I don't know. I like the rocket jetpack, the classic Boba Fett looking jetpack. Um, that's just my, that's just my uh, two cents there. But overall. Um, Sort of see the differences, uh, the colour in the jumpsuit. This one's far more lavender um, than the original, but that could also just be the weathering. Um, and you can just sort of see the sort of dark wash on the armour of the old one um, compared to the new one. It's all over. Otherwise, the figure is exactly the same as the old one. does look good without his helmet but um yeah I just feel like a uh, a helmet a helmetless removable Django should be on the cards for the future um, and yeah I really just wish this helmet looked better it just looks too big like the top half of the dome just looks too big um, you know the back flares out too much Yeah, it's just not doing it for me. It's what kind of just bums this figure out for me personally. I love Django Fett. I, I do like the rest of the figure as a whole. Um, there are just a few elements to it that let it down a little bit for me. Um, at the same time, I'm I'm glad to have it in my collection. I, I really dig the old Bounty Hunter game. Um, but uh, yeah, an updated version of Django hopefully in the future would be fantastic um, but now that they're releasing this one now I think we'll be waiting a long time for a new six inch Django Fett 
Uh, we'll pop the helmet. What I will do is I will compare the helmets. I'll just bring them up. So the one on the left is the old one. You can sort of see the weathering. Still has that dent. But they've still just got that funny shape to them. It's not quite. 100% could be a little better but uh, if I had the paints to match I'd uh, get an extra Boba Fett and probably change that helmet around but otherwise I'm I'm happy to have this figure in my collection, this new Gaming Greats version. Uh, definitely not a must-have. I mean, it's great for the collectors who missed out the first time. It has been a few years now, so... Um, yeah, I'm definitely happy that other collectors are going to get a chance to grab a Django Fett for their collection. And, uh, yeah, I might try and get a shot with him and uh, the new Obi-Wan from Episode 2, because uh, that would be a lot of fun to get those two together having their awkward conversation. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, may the force be with you.